When it comes to the beat. So I am late all the time. You guys know I'm always late. I don't want to fuck you no more, so yeah. Was he talking to you? My relationship with him was a boy who liked me. And I still had a soft spot for him because I did like him too. All these crazy messy bloggers, Tasha K, Vermont, Lovely T, The Wiley Show. I was like, yo, these bloggers is really thirsty. Ain't nobody coming for me. Because I, I want to see both okay. and it's not impressive to me oh, that's like that's all you working with nobody okay okay i, I want to shit on myself and i want to no baby i'm worth more than that i make that in five thousand five thousand sound it, to me it sounds like you might have been considering um in that ass shitty at five thousand bitch you know i'll be about it don't play with okay. me okay 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 yeah they got too much motherfucking going on Turn it up. You found it? I need another drink. Hmm. When he calls in, you're gonna be on as well. This chair is so squeaky, it's irritating. I don't know. Should I leave this pink thing on my head? No, I shouldn't leave this pink thing on my head. <laughs> Not tied like this. There's nothing wrong with how it's tied. I think I look fine, baby. Are you kidding me? I think I look like Ancient Mama. Come on, that's the that's the problem. That's a style. Ancient Mama, that's a style. Let's ain't know who Ancient Mama is. Brand What's up, everybody? New! I'm your boy Rico Bellucci, and I'm Jay. Okay. Really, we don't be leaving that far. And we yeah, are here yes. with yeah. uh, another video, guys. Um, so as you know, there's been a situation with Kirk Franklin and Carry On Franklin, and um, I have not gotten off this situation yet. So I am late all the time. You guys know I'm always late on my. Um, I'm always. We're always late on our videos. Then get your shit together. Get it all together. All your shit. If I don't care what you do, you just gotta get it together. Get your shit together. Never on time, always on time. Gave you my all, all, always be my mind. Now, baby, be mine. I'm not always there with you. Oh, no, I wouldn't be in a shanty. You know what I mean? I'm being countess. Oh, uh, uh, uh. you're here. I. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 Do it again. <laughs> That's my girl, don't do it like that. Damn, they need to put her back on somebody's TV show. But anyway, oh man. Oh, I gotta take this shit off. Yeah, I am. Anyway, um, nevertheless. So I, I, I kind of didn't want to let up. In my last video, I kind of talked about Carry On might be schizophrenic because I had an ex-boyfriend who was schizophrenic and Carry On might be struggling with schizophrenia. So I was very intrigued by all the bullying that Trey June, CJ Williams, who was the boy that was arguing, girl, girl. Bitch, I will make the fuck out of you, girl. I'm gonna Stop. call a cop. Girl, Ooh. no, girl, yeah, yeah, girl. I'll call a cop. Yeah, you go to jail. No, I need to go to jail. You're going to jail. No, you go to jail. Mm -hmm. Him, the one that was arguing with him in the recording, right. with Carry On in the recording. So I did a, like a scavenger and I was asking Larry Reed and other people like, what's his contact information? Finally, I got in touch with Trey June and CJ Williams. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna have Trey June come on the show. We already spoke with Trey June, we've been speaking to Trey June. Um, and Trey June is here on the show. Finally, we have our first exclusive, exclusive I feel like. 
Um, and it might not be an exclusive because everybody already have talked to him and drained right. him of the situation. Um, and except carry on. Except carry on, right? <laughs> <laughs> carry on then has not drained him yet. <laughs> no. And we're gonna, speaking of that, we're going to ask him about that because as you know, in the recording, carry on did say um, some very mad, vulgar. Yeah, you mad because I want to you know. I'm the devil, bitch. I'm a mess of energy. If you want to, if you want this situation to get worse, you have a green light for me. If you want to see the devil? I'm showing you. I don't, I don't want to fuck you no more, so yeah. Uh -huh. That kind of stuff. So we we want to know if Trey June and Carry On ever had sex with each other. Right. Oh my god! How does this get juicy? Ah! You know, um, if if the girl was his girlfriend, we want to know: Did he hit you? Are you scared for your life? Right. Um, how long have you been knowing him? Where did you first meet him at? Yes, you know, we're actually given the opportunity to listen to the full audio. Yes, yes, so, yes, um, yes. Analyzing that, full. we yes. have some questions mm -hmm. about how everything took place and mm -hmm. exactly what was going on from the emotional aspect of Trejun and Carry On and whoever this female is who was uh, the tertiary or the third person that was around. <laughs> we're going to allow Trejun, CJ, to call in and um, give his portion and his side of the story because the side- y'all ain't heard my side of the bed. Right, because the story has been- <laughs> Because bitch, see, everybody have their own side of the bed. And bitch, y'all ain't get my side. That's what I'm saying, y'all ain't get my eyes. But uh, anyway, really messing my But y'all ain't heard my, my side, side of the bed. <laughs> it, the story has been told from every perspective except the person who was on the recording side yeah. of the, the uh, audio. Except for so, anybody that's even related or around him. I mean, Kirk has come out and said what he said, but nobody has been able to speak out about this thing. Right? Mm -hmm. I think he's one of the main people. He's the one who recorded that. Right? And the main thing that people are getting at is the fact that he said, thanks for playing my molester's music. And at the time, of course, we all know what song was playing at the time. That was Kirk Franklin. This is classic. After everything I've been through, you gonna play his music tonight? You showed your ass tonight, Jesus. Thanks for playing my molester's music. You don't know. I was Kirk Franklin. So, um, you know, a lot of people have heard from Trey June already, but people have not really dissected the entire video. You get what I'm trying to say? Uh -huh. Well, what led up to this and just fully believe him. Right. Trey June. You know what I'm saying? We would have to literally, um, and Trey June is in the queue. Um, he may be a little nervous because uh, some people scared him up a little bit. We did have a pre-interview with, with Trey June, so we are aware of some of his concerns um, that he has, i.e., some of the other bloggers, I won't name them. I'll allow him to name them, but I probably don't. All these crazy, messy bloggers, Tasha K, it was getting crazy. You know, and me and Armand got into it because um, lovely T slid in my DM. So it was getting real messy behind the scenes. Oh, man. I was like, yo, these bloggers is really thirsty. Her and Armand, the Wiley show, you know? Yeah, but we definitely, we want him to be able to express himself and tell exactly how he feels and clear up any rumors or um, bad talking about him that we may have. Uh, so we're going to wait on him to come in. In the meantime, I'm going to talk about what I heard on this recording. Because <laughs> the recording is crazy. I'm not going to say verbatim. We're going to wait. And we have a lot of curse words to blank out here, guys. So if we miss out on any curse words, please excuse us. We the didn't... recording is how long? 37 minutes long, I believe. Can you hear me? Hi. Can you see me? I can see you. Can you see me? Yes, I see you. You see me? Hell yeah, I see you. Both of us sitting here look like two big barnies. We see each other. And I didn't take off my do-rag, so... Wait, I can't hear you. I took the headphones off. Let me take off my do-rag. Jesus Christ. I didn't even know. My head look a mess. I got a line on my head. Yeah. Oh shit, man! I'm supposed to Ben took this off. Damn. Ooh, I love cool. the hair. Thank you. Wait. When was your birthday? January 25th. January 25th. Okay, okay. So I'm February 2nd. I think. Oh, you got you one of those. You a February Aquarius. Oh my okay. God! What does that mean? I don't know nothing about it. What is that? So what's the difference in a January Aquarius? What you drinking? Some Remy and pineapple. Oh my God, look, you you drink rich people shit. Okay, if I look over here and it look like I'm in distress. <laughs> no, seriously, like, let's just be real. My boyfriend, Jay, is over here. Wave at the camera. Me, get on his <laughs> yeah, we both have the mic in. He can't hear, can you hear him? Can you hear him, Jay? I can hear you. 
Let's get started. We are um, with LTV. Um, so, like I was saying earlier, we were going to have Trey June, CJ Williams. I like his name, y'all. Like, Trey June. I, yes, really, I really do. I, I like, do I do. I don't know why. And I know he probably like, my name Thank is CJ. You. Don't keep talking about no Trey June. But I like your name. The person behind the recording. Thanks for playing my molester's music. We have Trey June, CJ Williams, y'all. <laughs> Okay. Last night, I had the opportunity of listening to this entire recording <clears throat> from what I heard. And when I got a chance to talk to Trey June or CJ, he gave me the entire recording. And now I was able to listen to it and make my own assumption. Although I already have a video that has not been uploaded yet um, where I made the assumption that he may be um, schizophrenic. Oh, Armand and other people may have played only one part of the video, which I understand how important that part of the video is because Kirk Franklin is who Kirk Franklin is. And I've already been talking about this a little bit before Trey got on. But Kirk Franklin is who Kirk Franklin is. Let's and go! Carry on is his son. So of course, this is not something that's just gonna smooth over easily. People not gonna just stop talking about this tomorrow. Um, or definitely not today, because bitch, I'm talking about it right now. Okay. Fuck that. Anyway, um, but the thing is, was all, all only thing been played is the molestation part. And I think that there is more to it, even if his father molested him, allegedly, allegedly, whatever, God forbid, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's neither here nor there because I heard more on this fucking recording that should have been talked about than just that. First, hey, music. We millionaires. I'm a millionaire kid. Hey, I'm rich as fuck. Hey, I've been, I've been all over the world. Hey, I've been to every continent. Hey, I'm going to Rome right now. Hey, do something. I'll whoop your ass. Hey, I ain't gonna get in trouble. Illuminati is a wonderful thing to be born into. Hey. Hey, secret society. Hey, fuck with me, you gonna die. Hey, let's talk this tell the truth. Hey, let's be vulnerable. Hey, this is what we got. Hey, 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 you don't got shit going Okay, so for 500, yeah, would you fuck me? shit on your face. For 500, would you fuck no. me? No. Shit, yeah, no. I want you to fuck me for $1,000. It's probably not clean. No, I want, I, I want to shit on myself. And I want you to no. Fuck me. no. Fucking, I'll kill you literally with serious ass tones and shit like. Back up. I'm going to kill you. Back up. I'm going to kill you. Nah, you're me. No, I didn't. You didn't. You, you said you're going to kill me. I'm self-defense. You said you're going to kill me. Are you you said I'm going to fight you, girl. No, you didn't say that. Fucking. <laughs> Just, just, just anger, like serious anger. And guess what? It's not from CJ, the person who I seen bashed, who I seen bad comments about. So all the bad comments I've seen, all of that is not the same as what I heard. It, it doesn't match, you know, the comments that this boy is receiving, all the backlash that this boy is receiving, it just does not match with um, what I heard, you know, if you guys heard the whole recording, then you guys will have a different perspective, I feel like. I feel like. I don't know. I, that's just how I feel. So whether Trey was going to do this interview or not. I agree. And whether he was going to do the interview or not, I was going to dissect this. Because I feel that there is more that needs to be said. More than just the boy crazy. Because I don't give a fuck what nobody say. He, something going on. I'll be... Okay, let me stop. I've been on medication before when I was young, and I know what that shit will do. So once, if he, his own daddy said he was in counseling for 20 years on the Tamron Hall show. And so around when he was a teenager, we started him in therapy and counseling, and and we, we've, we've had him in and out of counseling and therapy for over 20 years. You cannot leave somebody in counseling for 20 years. Plus, once he became 18 and able to say what he wanted to do, if he was on any type of medication, I'm not saying he was, because I don't know if he was, but if he was, then by the time he was 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, he was able to make his own decisions. And now he done weaned himself off that medicine himself. And that can really f your head up. That that Remoral, Ritterin, and Ritterin, and a Ritalin and all that shit. Because at some point, lithium. Right. They had all the control and say so, right? When he was young. They put him out, they put him in counseling, made him take medicine, and then he left. I don't know if they made him take medicine, maybe they did. But then he left the house and he was able to do what he. I've been to group homes and shit. When we were supposed to take medication, niggas was putting that shit under their tongue, passing it off to, to, to Billy. 
when it was supposed to be George medicine, yes. George was giving it to Billy. You know what I'm saying? So he could be really fucked up because some of them boys in them group homes was fucked up because they weren't taking their medication, and that's how they'll get in trouble because the counselor come by and say, "You ain't acting acting right today. What? Well, you ain't take your medicine, did you?" And boom, somebody gonna snitch and say he gave his medicine to him. You know, he act like to me somebody who not on medication, who used to be on medication and not no more. From what I heard, I don't give a fuck what nobody's saying right now. If you cutting this video off, that ain't got nothing to do with me um until you hear the whole recording when you hear the whole recording then maybe you will feel different if you want to stay around and listen to this shit, then you can if not or bye. maybe 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 he was supposed to be on medication and they tried to pray it away oh thank you applause because y'all know how that go y'all know how that go y'all already know how the, the church thing go y'all know that they believe in praying all that shit away and then in churches the most times you get molested touched um you experience other gay shit in church exactly so then being around all those ladies in high heels and nails and shit my little gay ass i was intrigued by all the women that was in nails and you know the makeup and shit like that anyway so we got the man here okay this is probably his last interview i am so grateful because he didn't have to do this like this has been a, a ongoing thing for him you know and really kirk or somebody should be coming out debunking this whole thing um what he did was i think he was used by god to expose a man of god you can't be a man of god silence and walk in golden. faith yeah silence is golden you can't walk in faith and 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 just turn your back on your child i don't give a fuck what he did he can't turn yeah. his back on his child he cannot do that you just yeah. can't do that and i don't give a fuck what ricky smiley talking about smiley! what's up y'all You cannot turn your back on your child. You can't do that. Especially your firstborn. Thank you. You know, your bastard child. <gasps> your bastard child. Because I, I didn't think, think that was right either. No, and I think I think a lot of it got to do with Tammy. Him getting in that relationship with Tammy, mm -hmm. and Tammy had a daughter already, Carrington. So I think Kirk probably took Carrington on like his own daughter and then loved on Tammy. Cause y'all know how black daddies do. They will They'll leave your mama and go over here and go to this to bitch one. and yep. take care of her children like this, his children, and your kids over here with Ashley and, and be the best be daddy with these motherfuckers, but ain't showed up for your ass in 13 years. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, he said, he told me once, uh, once his dad got with Tammy, they sort of Cinderella him out the family. You know? I believe it. I believe it. And he also said, you know, he just he did not. He was not rocking with Tammy. I be, I believe it. And you know, the crazy part is I know Tammy, frankly. And the crazy mm -hmm. it's just crazy because she used to call me her little boyfriend. You know, I, when I was young, she always said I was her boyfriend and Kirk would say stuff like he's gonna beat me up, stuff like that. So when Jay would say she's mean, I would always defend her. Look, look what he, he, if you can see his face right now, he looking like, yeah, she is mean. But I always thought Tammy was a great person because from what I know about her, she's just so damn quiet and timid and sweet. But Jay thinks otherwise. You're saying what he says. And I believe you. So I don't care. I'm saying, she, she, it was all image. I believe it. I had, I, I'm so glad that you decided to come on here. Um, like, thank you so much. Definitely, you have a channel as well coming out. 
Trey, CJ, YouTube channel. But anyway, <laughs> let us, let um, us. No, I want to, um, you know, I appreciate you for giving me the chance to even just talk. You know, I was very reluctant. Yes. I didn't want to keep talking about this no more. But mm -hmm. the way you approached me, and I turned down other interviews, you know, because I was just ready to move all of my life. Right. But the way you approached me and, you know, it, it, it was genuine. Exactly. So I was like, okay. Right, right. So I'm like, okay, like, I can trust this person. Exactly. And we can just, you know, get this all out and set the record straight, you know? Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, no problem. So at first, when I first reached out to you, I really just wanted to know one thing. And I think you know what I wanted to know, the main thing. And we'll get to that. It, it was about sex and that comment he made about having sex with people. We'll get to that. But after you let me hear the recording, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I, I want to say that I, I didn't even ask for the recording, although I wanted to hear the recording. I didn't ask. He wanted to send me this recording, and and I think that that just goes to show his truthfulness. How the f is this stage? Mm -hmm. Anybody who was saying this is stage, how in the f is this stage if this boy is willing to give such an ex? This is an expensive video or recording that. Listen, anyway, this video was supposed to be solely about one little, you know, this this thing. But now I listen to the whole recording, and I kind of want to know a couple of things from what we heard, and I want everybody to hear this. I don't know if anybody else has heard the recording, but I want everybody else to hear this recording, and we're gonna try to get through this so that we don't keep CJ too long, and we're not up here too long, because we got Yaya in the room right there. And um, we got her on this game, so hopefully she'll be quiet and stay in there and not get on our nerve right now. Anyway. Nevertheless. This this thing is 38 minutes long, but there are some things we're going to slide through because I don't want to get a copyright claim like Usher is playing in the background, Kirk playing in the back. And if I play more than 15 seconds of those songs without talking over them, the times when the recording does not have any... Um, talking then I'll get a copyright claim so not everything I'm gonna play I just don't want people to say well you chop the recording no no I am taking out the songs okay guys I, but I'm gonna take out the song because I don't want to get a copyright claim from playing Usher sexy dick ass but he fine as fuck. He got warts on his dick, but he fine. I'm serious. Somebody ushered this nigga into the clinic. <laughs> Somebody ushered this nigga into Wait, no, what? No, let. Oh, no, wait. Allegedly. Not warts. Not warts. Herpes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not warts. Herpes dick. Let me not say warts. Jesus. Allegedly. Allegedly. But he is fine. Damn, man. Just put on a condom. Man. I don't know. <laughs> So I, you can't hear the recording. I'm gonna. Okay, I already have my. Okay, so the first thing. I remember everything I say. I'm okay with the asshole I am. I'm okay with the asshole I am. I'm okay with the asshole I am. I'm starting the recording, y'all. I'm a fag, y'all. That you said that tonight. I never called you a faggot. I never called you a faggot. Girl, you're just a vigilant sissy. A girl. No, it would've been nice. So anyway, I got my question, so it don't even matter. I spent all night working on this shit because it was like, whoa, I was shocked as fuck. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to get into this right here. Let's so the first it. thing, <clears throat> how did you first meet Carry on. I know people don't ask you this already. Like, what was the encounter? So I was staying at the house, and um, he got he came and he got hired on as help. That was it. Okay. It was simple as that. I was already staying there. Then he came and he got hired on as the help. Okay. He got hired. So could you tell me what a hostel is? I don't know what a hostel. And maybe if I move to LA, it was just an Airbnb. And it was all type of people staying there. It was all type of um, situations going on. There were people with kids there too. Oh. So it was it was more so just an Airbnb with rooms. It was rooms, sometimes one person to a room, sometimes three people, sometimes four people to a room. Really? Um, is it nice as hell, like renovated? Or is it like- Yes, it was a, it was a nice duplex. And um, 
it was nice. It was renovated. It was super cute. It was nice, but it was on the east side. It wasn't on the east side of South Central, Southeast Los Angeles. So that's it bad. Was the neighbor, the neighborhood was ghetto. Is what I'm saying. Okay. It was, it was the hood. Okay, okay, because I don't know about Cali. I'll show you the house if you want to see it. <laughs> yes, like we've never been to LA, and Jay wants to go to LA so fucking bad. So yes, I do want to go to LA very bad. Okay, so but I wanted to know that because I, I honestly was intrigued by the what a hostel was, and you said it's not it's it's an Airbnb. So you guys share bathrooms and stuff like that. Yeah, it was just shared living, co okay. living, okay, that's, living. That's cool. It and was save money. It was convenient for me. Right. Everybody there was convenient for. Him. Exactly, and save money as well. Okay, mm. so it's about the bitches that you've maced. So first, let me let this play. <laughs> and then... You're going to jail. No, I can go to jail. You're going to jail. No, you're going to jail. You're going to jail. Spray me, you're going to jail. Spray me, you're going to jail. Try it. You're going to jail. Wait, don't try him. Yeah, try it. Spray me. Try my aim. It's good. Accidentally, not my aim. Well, damn. I'm so sorry. Okay. Wait, how many bitches have you maced? So when I made that statement, I wasn't talking about actual females. I was talking about, you know, boys in the community. I right. No, 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 no. I definitely, that that was an LOL moment. I definitely don't think that you have maced bitches as in females. Uh, okay. I say bitches as in boys or girls. Um, but I didn't okay. think that you made the girls could be bitches. I didn't even yeah the girls can be bitches as in the girls as in the trans girls but or you know, the, the since what reading the comments and stuff they interpret things they what? don't get the lingo they interpret things so differently and they oh, really think that wow. I was mixing women talking to the motherfuckers who's definitely gonna come on here and just and take try. it out of context yeah yes. exactly so you did not mean bitches as in females when you I said mean, that the girls bitches the girls okay and you have maced a couple of bitches. Yes. I wish we could have a taser or mace up here. It's illegal in New York City. <laughs> you can't. Seriously. The reason why I had brought that up, though, when we was arguing was because he saw me when I had got jumped and I had a black guy. I had got maced by some of the girls. I mean, I got jumped by some of the girls. So he saw me when I had a black guy and I had maced Ooh. them, you know, like while wow. I was getting so he, okay. That's why it was like, actually, you know, it was like, bitch, you know, I'll be about it. Don't play with okay. me. Okay. 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 Thank you for telling us. Wow. So so, okay, my next question, because now you just added a new question. I want to know how long between the video had you known him? Um, I had known him from late June till um, until Christmas. All that time, from late June to Christmas. To Christmas. So, okay, so y'all had developed a relationship to where he could just... He felt comfortable enough. It was comfortable. We were comfortable. I opened up things about myself to him. He opened up things to me, too. We were open. Oh, wow. You know? So you've talked to him in his sane mind, where he has talked calmly and talked like, yeah. had a normal conversation. Rational. Yeah, when he was a sweet guy. That's the thing. Like, I'm not here to bash carry on. Like, he definitely is a nice person at times. Right. And he can show you that soft, sweet gentleman side but then it's like a it's like a light switch that something just goes off in his brain and just be like it go literally zero for zero to 100 and just right. be like yo what happened wow okay you've had an argument with him before like this or no had several like, heated arguments yes what right that was that was one of my questions because this for this to have been number one um recorded just like him and his father that wasn't the first time that that happened between them for him to have <laughs> you know recorded it or, or whatever the case may be not even in a, a malicious manner you know or a bad way to to discredit him or make him feel any type of way but i just kind of figured that this has been um something that was normalized in the relationship that you guys have had between each other because it was at a point where you felt that it needed to be it was at a point where you felt like nobody would even believe you if you said this too. Yes, yes, exactly. That was my whole thing because we would get into it a lot and he would lie to protect his job right. and try to get me thrown out the house. So then he became to a point where, wait, 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 you know, wait, 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 to protect his job and get you thrown out of the house. He lived there and worked there. Yes, he had a quarters, um, not a quarters. That's a big word for him. He had a, a dorm in the house. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm imagining like some college dorm or something. 
I have a imagination. It was a share, it, his room was a shared room. His room was shared. It was other people, other travelers, other coming, other people trying to figure it out. Right, you know, right, 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 right. <laughs> okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I just wanted to, um, you know, kind of make a point that it wasn't something. It was something that was normal, you know, right. in, between the interactions that they had. Versus right. that it was a first time thing, of course. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't normal. It was just like towards the end, the the blow up started getting so bad, and he would lie. And before I would have witnesses who would saw the other arguments and things go down, right. that you know they would be able to vouch and defend me. But it began to come to a point where I felt like you know what sometimes things, some of the arguments, some of the stuff needed to be recorded because he he'll he'll lie to the to the owner of the house and make it seem like you know. And I walk in my truth, and you know how. She, trade is or straight yeah, yeah, yeah. guy they'll exactly try to play into the stereotype like oh you're the thirsty gay boy that's you know sexually harassing him yes yeah you know so i have to protect myself I like know. no this nigga is actually fucking with me yeah. and y'all don't know it i believe you i totally believe you i get it i can i completely get it and he cute, and if you understand sociology, you know, pretty people get a privilege, so they yeah. would just believe him instantly, like, I'm telling and, and you. he don't know how to play into that innocent, beautiful brown eyes, light skin mm-hmm. world with the dread. He and knows the how lips to and teeth and stuff, yeah. Pretty privilege, mm-hmm. is a thing. I woke up in gratitude. I hope you did too. Just a reminder, don't wait on nobody. Not these friends y'all got, not these followers y'all got. Not your clients, not, not, don't wait on nobody. Movement is medicine. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here being a man today. I can't do nothing about to- yesterday. I can't do nothing about tomorrow. I'm out here being a man today. If nature skipped one day on me, on all of us, who knows what would happen? We might be dead. So, you know, people who aren't consistent with me, the, all those relationships got to die. They got to go back into the dirt. They got to go back into the fertilizer. But uh, I'm going to do my best today to plant some good seeds in, uh, in the path of everybody I cross. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. He sure know how to lick them lips, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I know you know, because you said you want him to kiss that <laughs> asshole with the lips. <laughs> Jay was like, damn. We never, man. You, stop- you know what? Let's move on. Let's stop, <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> we can't. We're not going to do that right now, okay? Because carry on not ugly. All right. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. crazy people have good <laughs> this naive. Ain't that what okay. Scrappy said? Like I call that the naive language. Naive. Like I might be like, you know what I'm saying? My bit naive. You know what I'm saying? That's my bitch. I just break it down so everybody feel good about it. That might be naive. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck naive? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You feel naive? You know what I'm saying? Just you know I, my dick, my dis naive. <laughs> Right. 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 I understand, girl. I get it. Right. Stop playing. Okay, so, 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 so. My- okay, in the beginning of the video, somebody said something about tranny. This is not that important, but I was so, I kept rewinding it and rewinding it and rewinding. Right. Well, in the beginning, somebody who was, said. Right, who was he talking to? You clearly. But no, who was that himself. talking? Was that CJ or oh, was that? that? Uh-huh. Let me play it. You're a mess. Back up. You just told me you're drunk. Back up. Back up. I'm going to kill you. Back up. I mean, it's not that important. I don't think I want to put that in the video. Okay. Oh, it was you. arguing, and we had some TS girls move into the house, and everybody was making a big deal out of it because the house had got signed up to a program. So there was a lot of TS girls coming out the house, coming in and out the house, and oh, they were having okay, an issue okay, with okay. it. So that's why I was throwing, I was throwing shade at. I was like, you probably one of them, you know. And they right. were oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. I could. The thing is, I kept rewinding, 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 trying Deciphering to figure out when, you what, know, who, who the fuck who said something about a training. Right. I, was, I was telling him, I said, you probably one of those, mm, girl. Oh, okay, he didn't okay, get it. it he didn't a, get it. You, okay, have you and Carrie on ever gotten to a physical altercation? I wanted to know. Like, have y'all ever punched each other or touched each other physically? We got into a shoving match, but it didn't. We didn't punch. You know, 
I didn't. I never punched him. Okay. We got okay. to a, 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 a shove, like a right. push. Oh, no, right. I thought because I'm thinking that him. He said that Kirk jacked him up or did something at counseling one time. Right. And I'm really thinking that he probably got bigger because boys get bigger than their daddy and they end up bucking up at their daddy. Right. And I'm trying to think what made him get put out of the house because Kirk said he became he became aggressive with his right. disrespect. And that was the only so I, All I think of is I was he aggressive it. and physical with you because I think that he might have and boys, we, we, we shoot up past our parents at, at a point and mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe he bucked up at Kirk and embarrassed him in front of Tammy and that got him put out. So that's why I was asking him, has he ever got physical with you because at one point too it sounded like you got up off the couch in the beginning when you when you know before the mace situation it sounded like you might have got up off the couch at yeah. him like hold the f up bro don't stand over me because i'm telling you i'll beat yeah. your ass bitch, i'm gonna make the fuck out of you girl i'm gonna call the cops girl Ooh. no don't yeah, get mad girl i'll call the cops if you go to jail no i need to go to jail you're going to jail no you go to jail that's what it he seemed tried like. to, he tried to run up on me in that moment and i was on my p's and q's so it was like, I was, we was arguing, but I was watching him. Right. So he tried to do a little sneak because he thought I was just sitting down comfortable. And I had to get up real quick, like, stop, sir. Right. I messed the fuck out of you. Don't play with me. Right. Okay. Who was the female in relation to y'all? Because it sound like Carrion got a relationship with her. Unless he off his rocker and he crazy. Because it sound like he was trying to tell her, like, 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 kind of, sort of, seemed like he kind of aired himself out in front of his girlfriend. But not doing energy is making my <laughs> you, You're young. You got to learn what your willpower. <laughs> what will you do with your talent? What will you do with your talent? I'm trying to hold it. What will you do with your talent? He will never like... make as much money as you. Ever. <sighs> what is going on? He doesn't on? have the talent. That's why he's ruining never. this whole cool evening. Never will you. You don't have to. I'm a cool ass nigga, do. right? Like, I'm a cool I, ass nigga. I this and like I gave this house an opportunity. An episode? Why are you asking him? Should, That's why you're behind. Out loud. That's like, why you're behind. Should I trust him or you trust me? That's but is this his girlfriend or is this just no, a friend? No, that was one of, no, that was one of the girls from the house. And me and her, I got really tight. We got really cool mm -hmm. at one point. So this is why we were all, you know, gathered in a living room together on Christmas. It was cool. So they didn't have no play play sex or none. You know, play play sex like no, we he friends. Tried, you know, he tried flirting with her too and tried being buddy buddy cozy cozy, but she peaked the crazy and had her antennas on too. Right. So you know, she, she everybody be fine, but you yes. know when you when you peep the okay something's going on, you just be like okay, no, I'm not about to fool with that. So she was on the same energy as me. It was like okay, well, I'm not fooling with that, but right. I'll entertain it. You know. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I understand. I feel you. Back up. I'm gonna kill you. Back up. I'm gonna kill you. Nah, you can't kill me. No, I didn't. You didn't. You said you're gonna kill me. I'm self defense. You said you're gonna kill me. You said you're gonna kill me. You didn't say that. You didn't say that. You didn't say that. You didn't say that. So bitch, you can't say self defense. You get a spray. I'm waiting to hear it. I don't fight, bro. I'm doing self defense. I'm making me fart. I'm doing self defense. No, you're making yourself fart. He said, "I'll kill you." So, do you think that he has the capability to kill you, or do you think that it was a dry threat? That's the thing. I don't know. I I don't know because um, Carrion is so complex. But right. I believe like okay. Let me see how I'm gonna explain this. I feel like there was a reason why he put out that his father was gonna try to kill him at one point, and I definitely feel like <laughs> it, it 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 dove into that statement like. Uh, do I believe that he's capable or do he knows people that's capable? Yes. This is why I'm so reluctant to do any more interviews because I'm actually like really, like I'm still shooken up by everything. You know, I'm still just like wandering around LA, like just watching my back now since I've been doing these interviews because I now that it's all out there on the table, I'm just like, damn, like, did I really get myself into something now? Because why would he think, why would he allege that his father was trying to kill him unless they're capable of it? Right. Unless, you know what I'm saying? So You're it's right. like... Uh, and you so, know what? This goes to show that you trust some of the things that he says. Little do you yeah. know, you you probably don't realize that you're saying that, or you do, but you you really, based off some of the things that you're saying, you have like this brotherly love for him because you are speaking yeah. in a way of, you're exposing things, but you are helping him because you're not talking in a bashful way. And then at the same time, you trust his word. So, because you're saying, 
Yeah, I kind of sort of believe he's probably capable of killing me because I'm thinking he crazy. He His dad not going to kill him. But your mind, you know him better than I know him immediately. Mm -hmm. So for you to believe that he may be on to something when he says my father is trying to kill me, then it makes me second guess like, damn, well, maybe Kirk is capable of some things and Carrie on has some of those capabilities too. All these interviews that you're doing, I highly doubt that anybody is crazy enough to touch you. Plus, Kirk ain't crazy. Kirk ain't finna do nothing crazy. I think the main thing that you will probably have to worry about are fans, and then you live in Los Angeles. I think the main thing is fans, but for the most part, I think you're good. In a minute, before you know it, your picture gonna be up down with. <laughs>
I just don't think you were paying me. I think we're playing games. I'm not about to play games. Again. If you really broke me off, I did that, that shit. I did that shit. If you really broke me off, y'all. He tried to play, and I, you know. But you can't turn me on after this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I could just put on my clothes, just for shits and giggles. But at the same time, it's like I'd rather, I'd rather do it for the money. So it's not like. It's not if like how, if this how you take care of your niggas, hey, yeah, that's I don't, I don't dance for money. For free, you gotta put in some work for some money. So the female speaking in the background, I want to ask you about that one more time. So she never, she, she, she don't have no relation to this boy. Cause he talking like this, his girlfriend or something. Like he dates her. Yeah. Like they had, she was, she was a, she was a pretty girl in the house that he had attraction to. And, um, you know how it is with, <sighs> Whatever his preference is, you know how it is with niggas like that. Yeah. They want to show out in front of fish. Yep. Hanging out with a sissy. <laughs> That's going to make you money. That's going to get you the bands, baby. <laughs> Hanging out with this nigga going to get you the life you want. <laughs> oh, boy. Me disappearing on y'all for three, five years and seeing where y'all at in y'all life. <laughs> Be the only one stuck in the past three, five years from now. Ain't nobody gonna be you just cursed your life, man. Ain't nobody gonna be you just cursed your life. Ain't nobody you just cursed your life. Yeah. Show out in front of the girl. So mm -hmm. I understood what was I understood what was going on between me and him. He was just putting on a show, I think, for her. Right. But I mean, she kind of peeped what was going on too, like. Me and her was cool. Like she knew I wasn't tripping. Like, right. And this is that had been an ongoing thing with me and him for months. Like after I curved him, it was like um, he just couldn't believe that I wasn't into him. Like he just couldn't believe that I was curving him. You know, like right, right, right. He just couldn't him and other people. Cause a lot. Like let me just really tell y'all the the the, the tea. A lot of the people in the house could not believe that this man was giving me all this attention. You know, they just couldn't right. believe for the life of them that this man was giving me all this, you know, was just all up on me all the I time. I believe it. I totally to be my believe friend. it. But I'm, I've been through too much. I'm too ill. I, I got, I, you know, like, I, I'm, you know, I'm doing right. well. You know, like, I'm, I'm cute. Yeah, and you Aquarius. Cute. We definitely play I'm gonna, hard. I got that bomb personality. <laughs> right. It was, you know, it was just like, so I, I had a lot of haters in the house and a lot of them were girls. Cause yeah. you know, they, you know, they. Right, right, right. Was throwing they stuff at him. They was buying him stuff. Pussy and throbbing. And some of the boys in the house. Mm -hmm. And some of the boys, some of the, some of the boys in the house was buying him food and clothes. And right. I wasn't doing none of that shit. Right, right. I wasn't doing none of that shit. So. They just didn't understand, like, how they just doing so much and literally throwing themselves at him. But he not paying attention to giving them. Me, yeah, like, why he just giving me so much attention? Exactly. Why is it just all about CJ all the time? Right, right, right. Wow. This is why I had empathy and compassion for him when I gave the audio to Armand because I was not trying to come from a mean place. It was right. like... F all the BS. We argue all the time. Right. I feel bad for you that you're making yourself look crazy out here in the streets. Right. You know, I don't want you to, you know, I don't exactly. want you to. Exactly. Right. You know, exactly. I don't know exactly. If you can really process all this heat on the web. Exactly. So, right. And for him to go on Larry Reed and say what he said about me, it hurt my feelings. We won a state championship and his high school did it. And he's been acting weird ever since then. Okay. I made it to the college level of football, but then when I turned 19, I just had a change of heart, and I moved to Los Angeles. And my family didn't agree with it. They never supported me the whole time. They never hit me up when they come to L.A., so... What age were you when you left home and moved? As soon as I graduated high school, I spent one semester in college, and then I just realized at that time that I needed more experience. Wow. I needed real-time experience, not classroom. So my little sister can lie all she want, I left school. That was my choice. I can go back to school now if I feel like it. I ain't got no kids. Mm -hmm. ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't, ain't no foreign women DMing me talking about, so I got your baby. Hey, hey, I'm chilling. I've been, I've been so celibate. I'm so celibate in this, the past two years that it's funny watching everybody want to try to control me. Like, you gay. You, you gay. Just come out and say you gay. Why? 
these girls still gonna be on me. So like, <laughs> what, that's not gonna run nobody. Over. It might run some of them off, but if if I was to tell the world I'm not attracted to women anymore, only men, some women still gonna be like, I mean, we can still kick it, like, ooh, like, yeah, that's true. Think, think about how many, like, let's be real, Larry. I live in Los <laughs> Angeles. Think, think about how many women have already offered and just wanted me to come hook up with with, with their boyfriend. Like, I'm not my daddy. I live a different life. Oh, so. Geez. My experiences are not what he experiences. I don't go to church, to the studio, and home. I'm going to stop at the bar and give me a drink. <laughs> mm. Wow. Okay, so are you saying that you you are, since you're bringing it up, I don't ask people this question. Are you saying you are gay or you're pansexual or you do what you want to do? What does that mean exactly? Like, what does pansexual mean? Okay, you're fluid. That's fluid? I'm celibate, first off. Okay, So ain't, ain't nobody in my drawers. All right, that's good enough for me. All right, that's good first off. Well, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all don't have a beard, but y'all are beards. Some of y'all with women's, but y'all doing, y'all desiring other things. <laughs> well, you just like your daddy. Then, yeah, that's probably why y'all can't get along. Y'all just alike. I'm 2.0. I'm, 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 I'm everything else. So, you know. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. Watching you and talking to you here, you do have this prince um i'll take that you i'm got, that's that's you, why i don't shave you, you are that i'm, and, I'm, andro I'm androgynous that's why i don't shave because i look too i don't i hate looking pretty that's like the worst compliment everyone girls be like you so pretty i'll be like no you got this thing you can tell you're, you're terribly art um creative and um terribly gifted you you come across no it. no no let y'all tell I'm, I'm just crazy i got mental health issues don't, don't try to don't try to clean it up now larry we ain't know i mean how are we supposed to know there ain't no way for us to know. All that we've been looking at is IG posts. But well, how are we going to know? We didn't, a lot of folks didn't know you existed. I didn't know until 2016. But, every, but I'm cloud chasing though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't have no tears for this situation because I've spent the last 14 years crying. I'm done crying, Larry. I'm done. You ain't finna see one tear drop out of me from this situation, Larry. I've cried nights, days. People don't know what I own. People don't know what I got. People don't know what I do. And I like it that way. Okay. If I'm broke, if I'm if, if I'm broke, okay. If I'm poor, okay. I'm free. Are you? <laughs> Are you free? Well, I'm free because I ain't got no debt. Huh, me neither. No debt over here. <laughs> if it's up, then it's oh. <laughs> I'm glad you um allowed me to come on and ask a few questions. I hope you let this stay up so people can know. Um, no, I ain't letting it stay up. <laughs> well, how are people going to know? They don't care. People going to say what they want. Larry, I've been an independent artist the whole time. They don't care. People just want to be messy. That's the state of our Not country. everybody. Not everybody. Larry, Larry, stop it. Stop the press for two seconds. Not everybody. Larry, Larry. Look at, gonna, Larry, Look at the comments. Y'all not finna Kanye me. <laughs> I'm not finna let y'all Kanye me, Larry. It's not happening. All right. I'm finna step out this car and give me some fresh air. Okay. It's paid for. I know that's right. All right. Well. So is my other one, too. Yeah, I don't believe in carrying no debt. Uh, no credit card debt. Every, every car I got or get. Cash. I, I can't. I can't operate like that. I want to sleep at night. I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying. Get it how you live. Just make sure you can handle that lifestyle, whatever you get into. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. But I hope you. I hope you. You would at least consider that not everybody double messy on the information. That's not the case. I. I don't believe everybody's like that. I mean, the only people who. Shade Room is the only one who have DM me and said we just want to know if you're okay. Lies, check your DM. Cause you want you want on what's the name? I ain't see you online. One of the first things I said when I first got to be, I said I just want to know you all right. I sent that like three four days ago. Cause I said why he ain't on this thing? I said Lord the devil messed up. And so I inbox immediately. No oh, Shade Room. Shade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, they, they, they ain't been blowing me up, sweating me, lying, talking about some. Oh, we reached out to Carrie three days ago. Um, that that message from Tamara Hall says March 15th. My response says March 16th, and they ain't said nothing back. So, I'm good on them. 
I don't even know why. I'm it. good on them. Mm. I'm good on that. I'm not. I'm not finna tap into no energy that feels tainted. That feels like they're ready to twist me up. No. I've been through real life trauma. But maybe some of that trauma make you think that everybody mess it. Don't nobody care. Until y'all only talk about my art, y'all don't really care, Larry. And that's and that's just the real deal. How is that? I didn't even know about. I knew about a little bit about the art. I looked Larry, at you come on now. If you wanna, if if you want to connect everybody else's dots, send it to me. You, you said you've been watching me since 2016, Larry. That's true. We had a conversation in 2016. That's true. And I barely ever post about my father, but the moments I do, now y'all want to go crazy. Send me the music so we can just fix this. No, that's old music. Y'all can go find it. I'm only like I'm a present person. I don't know the depth of what all of you are dealing with in y'all's personal lives, mm -hmm. but whatever mental health problems y'all think I have is still a projection of where all of you are spiritually. Okay. I'm the one facing the world right now because God knows I'm ready for this. But that's what was told to us now. So we went in. And everything's been told to y'all. I'm 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 on drugs. I'm 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 this. I'm that. I'm that. And they just, you know, trying to make themselves look better. But I don't care. I like it all. I like the rumors. I like the lies because it shows me who's real. And look, we, even prophets don't know everything. Um, this conversation you're having with us now gives us more perspective on who you are and who you're not. I, I don't I don't know that to be true. I don't know how y'all going to twist this on uh, YouTube and, and the blogs tomorrow. Y'all going to, I don't know how y'all going to twist it. Well, Larry won't be twisting. Uh, and I can't speak for everybody else. What, 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 how that song go? Come on, baby. Do the twist. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how everybody else is going to deal with it, but this gives me clarity. Because he knows that the Saturday before I gave the tape to Armand, I tried to talk to him. Right. I tried to say, I tried to say, carry on. You know how you're making yourself look. Right. Just release an audio of your dad cussing you out. You, you like, I know that exactly. you hurt him. I know. I know what you've been through, but you, right. you don't understand how you're making yourself look. Right. So you gave him basically a warning before you even put out this recording. You gave him a warning. I spoke to him the sad, that Saturday, March 13th. Right. Yes. Okay. I so, gave and your him purpose, my... and your whole purpose was for to, to basically help him, right? Yes. And I understand I that. Like, I, I was like, you know, we don't even got the... The other stuff in the audio don't even gotta be mentioned. Like I know, you know how to get this out to the to the press. You right. know, like, but he just he just wasn't seeing it. And he went red. Right. And he just went tried berserk. to cuss me out again. Like that was he my exclusive. That was mine. Basically, oh, it's so. Cr are you like a spiritual? Because it's like you're you're hitting on the point. Like that's how it was. It was like it was like. It, it it was like I didn't understand what his motive was then at that point. It was like, well, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to are you trying to let it out? Or are you just right. trying to let a little bit out to get a little bit of what clout from off your daddy? Right, right, well, what, right. Are you are you gonna expose the truth? Or are you gonna are you just gonna just keep running your mouth? Exactly. So how old are you? I'm grown. I'm 27. I turned 27 February 2nd. I don't want to say too much about my identity because I don't know if people Butch, try to look at me. We've you know, been together eight years. I'm that's like, beautiful. Eight years. I love that. Yeah, but we're like, you know, we're like best friends for the most part. We're, we're really like best friends. You get what I'm saying? Like, we, that, for the that's most how part. You're supposed to be. Yeah, that's how, I'm telling you, that's what really makes it last. Um, I would love to come back. Hell yeah. You are cool as fuck. Hell yeah. So, Look, pack this. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, I got a couple more questions. The female in the video, okay? At one point, the female said, are you going to pay me not to talk to him? While you're behind You him. don't want me to talk to him now? Are you going to pay me to not talk to him? I could. That would be messed up. That would be messed up. That's the next level in that Nissan, girl. So do y'all know him to pay somebody not to talk to somebody? Like, what came? She said two. Like, where did that come from? She done heard of that? He paid somebody to not talk to some. What kind of money this nigga got? I think it was after he was saying, um... He wanted to pay me to fuck him in the ass for $500. I think that came after. 
So oh, it was like she so... was throwing, she was busting her shots too. Like, you gonna pay me to not talk to him? Wow, like, thank you. Know, you. It, was, it was her, you know, like he, I was being attacked. Right. You okay. It. You you heard it. Yes. Okay. So wait. I forgot. Oh God. You just took me back. Oh my God. I did not write. No, I did not <laughs> write okay, that baby. down. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh my God. You just took me back. <sighs> this boy. Wait a minute. I. You don't got shit. Going okay. On. So for five hundred, yeah, would you fuck me? Shit on your face. For five hundred, would you fuck me? No. Fuck shit, yeah, no. For thousand, no, I ain't bothered in a long time. No, 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 I want you to fuck me for a thousand dollars. It's probably not clean. No, I want, I, I want to shit on myself, and I want you to. No, baby, I'm worth more than that. I make that in five thousand. Five thousand, you gonna shit in your ass? Yeah, you gonna fuck me? Uh, five thousand. That's no. Five thousand. It's okay. Ten thousand. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you just want to get your sign a contract. You. You're signing a contract? Yes, pull it up. Now you're going to pull that one up? I'm going to write it. Not when you fucking uh, said it. Not when <laughs> you said it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you wanted, right? Instead of having fun with me, this is what you want. This is the reality you want. Oh, Here we are. I'm not about to put this shit in your ass. For 10,000, bitch, so you got or not, you fuck nigga. You bitch, I don't want your pussy. Shit yeah. shit your pussy. Head. This boy said fuck. Me in the ass and let me shit on your dick. I know this ain't shocking to him because he done lived it. But bitch, I am. Have you ever even seen him? Like, what? Where did the fuck did that come from? Have y'all ever experienced? Have you ran across his room? He was on the couch shitting on the dick. Have he ever caught you <laughs> getting fucked? Like, have he ever seen you fucking somebody in the ass? Like, where the fuck did that come from? And was he up in your face when he was saying that? Because I feel like his chest was on your shoulder when he was saying that. Ugh. I'm trying to see how I'm a, I'm trying to keep it cute. Um, I've definitely seen carry on in just a towel. Um, I, 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 Stop playing. I, I don't know. I didn't know why he was saying that. I don't know if that was his way of trying to talk shit. I don't know if that's just what he liked and he was burning it out. I don't You know, some niggas don't really know how to dush, so I don't know if that's what he liked. Right. Um, and that was his way of getting it across to me, but it's definitely not something that I'm into. Right. <laughs> okay. You know, some right, niggas right, like right. the smell, girl. Right, I right, right. Keeping it real. I don't know. Right. But that that was an off the wall remark. One of I those off the wall remarks. Okay, yeah, because I see he keep doing a lot of those off the wall things. Because something. he said he said he said something like, "You have a big dick." You got a big dick, get your money. Get paid to fuck me. Get paid to fuck me. That's what, just what you want. So I'm, I was just wondering, has he ever seen, you know, you in that? Well, because the picture that we have used of you, one of the pictures that we've used of you, oh. it was... <laughs> it was out and about and <laughs> out front, you know? Yeah, so, the picture with we your were... yellow pants on... Yeah, go on your Instagram. Uh, I just wanted to know, um, number one, if you are willing to say, you know, is that picture reflective of the size? Are of, you well endowed? Are you well endowed? <laughs> and has oh, he seen? Oh, he got to see the picture. Wait a fuck a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's the role for me. Mm -hmm. You want to put me in a movie? You want to put me in a porno? You, you a method You want to be in it with me? No, baby, I don't. Why you don't want me to sing with me? Because, baby, I think you positive. Stop playing, bitch. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you get positive. triple up, bitch, and hit this ass, I bitch. You, triple up, bitch. I think you get your money. I don't want. You got a big dick, get your money. Get paid to fuck me. Get paid to fuck me. That's what, just what you want. Y'all want me to be feminine and shit, so okay, enjoy it. Let's do it. Let's play. Let's play. Y'all want. I ain't no I bottom bitch. What? What? Girl, you talking about you want to get yeah, fucked, girl? I don't know. Bitch, you think that's real, bitch? Girl, I don't want it, girl. I'm a hungry right now.
Wait, wait a minute. Hold it up to the goddamn camera. Oh, y'all are so. You also funny. said that um I, I, I haven't bottomed in a while. Gonna... For a thousand, no, I ain't bottomed in a long time. No, no, I want you to fuck me. So Show I haven't bottomed in a while. Accompanying this picture, kind of. I just saw it. I just looked at it. Um. Oh okay. shit! You seen it? How the fuck did you see it? I just went to my Instagram right now. Oh. Okay, look, you I've never... never had no complaints. I don't Okay. I'm I'm a I'm a great I'm I'm blessed. Okay, he blessed. He blessed. Okay. 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 So, anyway, the shit on your dick thing was he said just one of those remarkable off the wall, off the wall fucking what statements. Even him saying that <clears throat> right. I wanted to suck his dick in the Jeep was off the wall. Oh shit, he done skipped down to that. I'm I'm getting to that. That's where I'm at after this. Wait, the girl, what does she mean by an episode? What was she doing? She said an episode. Was she like recording her I own shit? Right. I'm a cool ass nigga, right? I'm a cool ass nigga. And I like gave a real this house. Should I get my clothes and make this an episode? Why are you asking him? Be, That's I'm why just you're behind. Out loud. That's like, why you're behind. Should I trust make this an episode? Trusting him or you trust me. This is why you're behind. No, no, no. I guess her and him had had their own. Um, private conversations, oh, whatever, episode. and she kind of, you know, um, told me what okay. that was about, because I was asking questions, too, like, girl, what was that about? Oh, I um, thought she was on Instagram live singing, like, no. an episode, because I was about to say, bitch. This episode was highly, it was, just, it was Christmas, it's Christmas. And this is why This is a Christmas first. special! I just feel like this episode was, was wild. It was a little inappropriate at times. I'm not defending anybody. All right. Um, Z signing out. That's what I thought she was saying. Episode as in Instagram episode. <laughs> right, but she meant a mental episode. That's why, you know, right, in the right, audio right. that y'all heard where he said, I told you I was writing something. You said you liked it. Yeah. You told me you liked it. I guess it was about that. I know how to I never said I'm possessed. You like, just said you I never said I'm possessed. Let me... Now you making up shit. You, you just getting said... further and further away from me tonight. Said right in front of my face. And you just said... I'm a poet. I'm a creative. You're going to write a show or... A and you said you liked about... it. And you said you liked it. I didn't say I liked it. I said you said that sounds style. good. Why would you lie to me? Yeah. Because I, 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 like I would like to... Oh. Yeah, it was about their little conversations they okay, had. Okay, okay. What happened at the Jeep? Now I'm on the Jeep. What happened at the Jeep? Because he said you tried to suck his dick at the Jeep and your tone really sound like, what? Like, nigga, you a fucking lie. Wasn't nobody thinking about you. You just yeah. cursed your life. Wasn't nobody thinking about you. That ain't what you said, ho. Yeah. You was at my Jeep as soon as I pulled up. Apologizing like a pussy bitch. Trying to suck yes, my dick. All, you tried to suck my dick in the Jeep, nigga. I tried to suck your dick in the Jeep. A lying ass ho. I tried to suck your dick in the Jeep. Gay nigga. Did I get in that Jeep? Thank you. Did you I ain't allowed. You ain't allowed. Did I say I wanted to suck your dick? Yes, you did. No. Oh, girl, now you really alive. <laughs> bitch, you got enough money for me to suck that dick. But Clarence, I, bitch, I got no money for her, but not bitch, you. You are so know. ignorant. Bitch, he I trying to money. say y'all equal. He trying to say that I wanted to fuck him and not you. He trying to say that I tried to fuck him before I tried to fuck with you. Your friend funny. Just to hear it out of your own mouth. What did, was he talking about at the Jeep? You went to his Jeep for what? Like, what happened? First of all, it wasn't his Jeep. Oh. Secondly, did I try to suck his dick at the Jeep? Or did he ask me to suck his dick at the Jeep? Oh, shit. Pull the glasses down on that shit. Yeah. See, did I try to did... suck his dick at the Jeep? Or did he want me to suck his dick oh, at the Jeep? Oh, shit. Did I try to suck his dick at the Jeep? Oh, or did he shit. beg me to suck his dick at the Jeep? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Can okay. I get real? You put it on this front in front of fish. It was insulting to me. Yep. That's how it is. Putting on the front in front of fish. You exactly. know how it is. You know yeah, how because, download, you know, one dude. of my one of my things was he said you to you. You know what download do. Um... He was trying to make a thing out of you saying that you wanted to suck his dick in the Jeep instead of saying that he rejected you from trying to do that. And that's typically, I don't know any fully straight man that would, you know, not reject a gay person for offer. I'm not saying that you were offering to him, but if you were, I would think that his response would be rejection instead of him trying to just... Right. Expose this to the other female that's in the room. I mean, it's only three of you guys, so. But that <laughs> goes to show he had to be on some shit or off the wall because why the fuck? 
What but, did you say that? Yeah, I'm a, what was in he, front what of this girl, purpose? right? In front of, of saying he that. was on some shit that right. night, and if if she, she are you don't have to deflect? say, it. are you trying to? Was you trying to deflect and project? Damn, like, CJ. is that your insecurity? You like, gonna tell us the truth by the end of this video? You need to tell us because he done seen you suck a dick or some reason why he crazy he about you. It. He what is it. it that he? You got to by the, we're going to let you simmer on it. At the end of the video, maybe you, he done seen you slobbing on a knob or you done slobbed on his knob one time and didn't let him nut or something because he is, what is it? Like, what? This nigga was all up in your face arguing with you like you his wife. Look. I still don't see how the other girls didn't see it. They just was so in denial. Oh, so was she a TS girl? No, 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 no. I'm saying the other girls in the house, like multiple women who was oh. throwing this at him. The okay. other girls in the house, I like, I'm agreeing with you. Like, I don't understand what. Are they in denial? Like, I, it is. It was what it was. Like, I, I wasn't exposing nobody. I wasn't telling nobody business. Right, it was right. out there. Right. Right. Wow. That's he that's walks crazy. In his truth. He that's does. the thing, like the people in the comments, like y'all don't even know this boy walking his truth. His favorite club is the Abbey West Hollywood. Like, stop playing with me. Quit wow. playing with me. The people in the comments, this, this is why me and you doing this interview because the people I need to address the people yes. who don't know what the fuck was going on, who is debunking this, who saying this was fabricated. Exactly. Who are saying I had my own cruel intentions leaking the audio. Like y'all need to stop because exactly. what y'all calling me a clause chaser? Well, what are y'all cyber warriors? Right. What's up with this fake outrage? Like exactly. quit playing with me. Yeah. I don't know what it was between me and Carry On. Quit playing with me. Period. 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 So to laugh this off a little bit, how much do you need to suck his dick? Because he offered you a lot and you kept saying no. <laughs> so I never needed to do anything. Okay, so how I'm much would you take me. to do it? Ten thousand. If I didn't, if I did not know him, I would have did it for free. Okay, it's fine. Right. Okay. But since I know him, right. So and you're... just how, how, how shit went down between us, right? Over the last couple months, it it I would need a a, a penny. Wow. So you're really That's... really turned off by his actions. Like, uh. And then especially oh my after, God. really, it's it like the, that. It was the Ugh. it was the Larry King for me. It was the Larry King for me, because I mean the Larry King, the Larry Reed for me, because you know we just spoke. So now you're going up in here on his live, bashing me and lying. Now, right. is there anything that aside from what's been said? Because I don't want you. You haven't came in the media to talk about what we now speculating. Somebody for put what? that. Out. Somebody put that out there, so I ain't gonna ask you about that unless you want to talk about it. <laughs> it's you know, it's gonna be some uh, restraining orders getting served. That's all I gotta say because the lies is through the roof, and people don't know nothing. They don't know business. You know, people, people can say what they want. Y'all don't know how many Airbnbs I own, co-own. Y'all don't know how many business partners, clients I have. Okay. I'm completely independent. Okay. I don't ask nobody for nothing. Nothing. So you and CJ definitely are not friends. I don't know him. Oh. I don't know him. Mm. He wasn't, he's not allowed to be anywhere where I am. Where I be at in LA, like he's banned. And that came from his actions without me. I make money off my art. I make money off my mind. I make money off just being myself. But, Let me. I've got, I'm gonna ask you this, and you cannot answer it if you don't want to. But this is something I knew I wanted to ask you. If what that guy played on the audio, I got what, nothing to do with that. It's none of my business. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna feed any energy into a low life stalker who is uh, circling around LA, uh, 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 looking for me in multiple places. He's like, you know, anybody who thinks they can stalk me, manipulate me, and still get on national TV and lie, parents included. You know, you, you, you got something else coming that, that ain't got nothing to do with social media. And mm -hmm. it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be through me. It's gonna be done legally. And if if you know if 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 I block you and then you still trying to like look for me in real time. If that allegation was true, you would have never told us that, would you? 
if what I, I don't I'm not even going to to acknowledge anything that hasn't can't come from me. I'm okay. not going to I'm not going to acknowledge anything that isn't right. Cuz that's that's the only reason why I haven't done an interview yet. Everybody blowing me up for an interview right now, but ain't nobody really like 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 what? They just want me to sit in a chair and just run my mouth and then like leave? I got you. Like like I'm an artist. So if 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 it doesn't feel like it's yummy or like colorful or just like popping, it, like I'm not gonna just this ain't sixty minutes, bro. It's twenty twenty one, bro. <laughs> I can't help but see your daddy, boy. You 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 are you are very animated. I don't care about the, the Tasha's and the and the and the Judas's or I I don't know what his name is, but I, you said you, that that dude who did that interview, his name was Judas, right? Oh, I don't know his real name. It's about the Paschal Show. Yeah, yeah, Ju Judas. Was, or was it Peter? Was it Peter or Judas? Oh, it's about in the Bible. No, I'm talking about that. It don't matter. Next, qu next question. No, I, I don't know. You're talking, about, you, you're talking about the CJ guy? I thought you said Judas. No, his name is CJ Trajun, Trajun Williams, CJ Williams. That's too many names. That, that's too many names. We, I'm going to just call him Judas. <laughs> that's, too many, that's too many names. That's I'm the guy that released the recording. I, I don't know nothing about that. Okay. I don't know nothing about that. And, you know, can't nobody play me. Yeah. Can't nobody play me. So you have, a, you have a son? A what? You said something about my son. You talking, you talking prophetically in the future or you presently have a son? Larry, you my son. All y'all my son. Everybody in this room my son. Oh, daddy. okay. I'm daddy now. I'm daddy. I told you just like your daddy. Now I'm so more turned off than you than anything that if you don't know how that I get down, carry on, then maybe you thought I was lying. But I don't fool with niggas like you. I'm used to real niggas. I'm used to hood niggas. I'm used to niggas that sell fucking, you know, right. do shit. You're not okay. that boy. And okay. you a bum. You a okay. bum. You cute, but you a bum. Okay. Don't play with me. Okay. So what did you mean by... When you said, um, I've seen your bubbles on the internet, on I seen your motherfucking bubbles on the internet. You don't even take showers when you fucking here. I don't want to smell good in front of you. I don't want to smell good for you. I've seen the motherfucking bubbles on the if internet. If you want to fuck me, I'm going to have a shit ass. ass. You don't got shit going on. Okay, so for 500, yeah, would you fuck me? Shit on your face. For 500, would you fuck no. me? No. Shit ass now. What's the bubbles? What do you mean you seeing bubbles on the internet? No, I Because I want to see. Bulge. Oh, bulge. Oh, where you seen it? Can I have a picture? <laughs> go, on, <laughs> go on Google or whatever. Go on Google. You'll see a uh, picture of him okay. at the beach looking like a bomb. Oh, he's at the, at the um, beach with looking some like basketball a bomb. shorts. You can tell okay. him that no we're on. Okay. And it's not impressive to me. That's oh. like it's, that's all you working with? Okay. Okay. Let Both. me ask you this. When when he said I don't want to fuck you no more, so yeah, um, and then he said, "I yeah, I ain't got to flirt no more. I ain't got to play. I ain't got to flirt no more. I can be me for real now. Yeah, we been saw you. Y'all some fake friends. Hey, hey, we been saw you. Hey, play my daddy music. We millionaires. I'm a millionaire kid. Hey, I'm rich as fuck. Hey, I've been, I've been all over the world. Hey, I've been to every continent. Hey, I'm going to Rome right now. Hey, do something. I'll whoop your ass. Hey. Was he talking? Was he like kind of? Directing that at the girl, but you know, saying I'm gonna go ahead and go off on him now because I don't want to fuck you anymore. I don't want to fuck you no more. So yeah. Or was he talking to you? He was looking at me while he was making the statement, but kept going back to her. But I wow. know that it was directed towards me. Right, right, right. And she knew too. That's why if you listen closely. She said, I knew it. Yeah. I heard it. I heard yes. it. Yes. Oh, my God. I heard, heard it. Yeah. I'm playing. Like, oh, this nigga is. This nigga is. Some, yes. This nigga mm -hmm. is yes. on the other team. On the other team. You know, that was her. Before your I knew herself. it. Yes. Before your I knew it, I subtly, subtly. Oh, my God. That's so scary. I uh -huh. feel like I'm in a scary movie right now. <laughs> like oh, my like, God. Oh, my God. No, seriously. Close the door. Close the door. I, I, I did hear her say subtly. I knew it uh -huh. as if it was like a uh -huh. bitch. I knew y'all was fucking or I knew he was gay. Yeah. You know, one of those type yeah. of things. It was one of those type yeah. of things. And I was just like. It was one of those type of things. Yes, it was I'm, one of those. It was like. I'm for like. For her and her moment. Yes, but for I her moment. Uh -huh. 
I heard her. So wait, did you hear her or did you hear her when you heard the recording? Um, I heard her when she said it, but then oh. it, her tone made sense to me when she said it to herself so low like that. Right. You know, like, it was like, okay, you wasn't trying to insult me. You know, you wasn't trying right. to insult the LGBT community. It was just like, you know, this is why you wasn't fucking with him because you knew something else was up. Exactly, exactly. No, no, I don't think she was trying to. No, I look. I'm from the hood of ATL, and I, I don't think that being gay means you have to be flamboyant and all that shit. When you're young, you think that that's what gay is. But some people are naturally flamboyant like that. Mm -hmm. You know, for me. I get what you're saying. I know what you mean when you say these down low boys put on fronts around the girl. I know exactly what the fuck you yeah, mean. Yeah, you know at, what how you act. At this moment, it just seemed like he was at a I don't give a fuck moment. Like, fuck this shit. Like, whatever. Yeah, I've been trying to fuck with this nigga. I ain't got to flirt no more. Mm -hmm. Like, I was just like, damn, he fed up. He giving it all up right now. Like, damn. He just yeah. like, fuck it. You said you uh -huh. haven't bottomed in a long time. Is that really true? Like, have you, how, how long have you not bottomed? Because you said, I ain't bottomed in a long time. So how long have you not bottomed? It's been a long time. Okay. It takes a lot for me. This is why I couldn't get into carry on. It, it takes a lot for me to really give my body to somebody. So, you know, it, 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 it was a, it's been a while. Okay, okay. Since I bought them, since me. Right. Oh, it's been a while. I don't just do that for anybody. I feel you. I, yeah, I think that he's saying that. And then he's an of Aquarius. <laughs> right. Because he's the same way. You know, he's I'm not I'm the a, same way, right. Yeah. Bottom, it's that, I think it's that Aquarius thing, too. Like, I think we more focused on um, getting rich or trying to get a bag or trying to yeah. live and be safe and just be live in peace. Because the biggest thing for me is to just live in peace. You know, I have to have peace. Not all that drama and commotion. I can't deal with it. You know, so I think I think that's probably why we don't be stutting a nigga and dick that hard. But it sound it, to me, it sounds like you might have been considering um fucking that ass shitty at five thousand. Four thousand dollars. It's probably not clean. No, I want I, I want to shit on myself. And I want to no, baby, I'm worth more than that. I make that in the five thousand. Five thousand? You gonna shit in your ass? Yeah, you gonna cut me. Uh, five thousand. That's no. Five thousand. It's okay. Ten thousand. I know you just want to get your side of the contract. Your side of the contract? Yes, pull up. Now you gonna pull that one up? I'm alright. Not when you fucking uh, said. Now we're gonna start. This is what she wanted, baby. This is a reality you want. Carry on. I'm not gonna fucking shit in your ass. For $10,000, bitch, so you got a lot. You fuck, nigga. Bitch, I don't want. Little pussy. Shit. Little pussy. Because for me, all it would have took was $3,000. I probably would have got in it. Look, Jason Lee said, wait a minute. Hold on. Jason wait, Lee wait, said, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Don't say nothing, Lee CJ. Talking was, to the mic. Jason Lee was asking us if we, uh, which one of us would allow someone to shit on our lip for a, for about seven figures. Wait, and I said, I'm gonna let you hear it. You are not, you are not shitting in my mouth for no ten thousand dollars. Now twenty, if my rent ain't paid. <laughs> You could probably shit on my lips, but to go in my mouth, oh nigga, you gotta have at least seven figures. I, you can shit on me. It's only gonna last for a moment. I ain't eating it. But and listen, a lot of people listen. maxed out at about six. <laughs> so, but Jason said he would have let the shit go on his lips. Seven figures, right? We're going for the million. <laughs> Jason but, said he would let shit go on his lips for how much? A million. He said. He's so going imagine for. shit on your dick. I can wash that shit off <laughs> if I need to. I'm not you think, and y'all both laughing? Okay. You think I'm playing games? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm not making money on YouTube like Larry Reed. Larry Reed making bucks. And they cash app this nigga. T.S. Yeah, Madison, that bitch is making money. money man. So uh, you can they shit. They cash app carry on. They didn't cash app me shit. 
They didn't catch that me a motherfucking and that's, thing, and they heard that audio. Oh, they heard that shit. How many people live in this house? Because he said a lot of people in this house told me you've been calling me the devil. And now you're talking look about secret society and shit, and it's like, this and, is the shit that makes and, it go right up here. Cause I'm not in none of that shit. Money. You can believe whatever the fuck you want, well, man. I live my whole life. I ain't sold my soul. I ain't, I'm not on contract. You said I'm, I'm she. Said he said I'm she. You, that's what you said. You but keep calling me she. Talking about secret so now societies I'm being like, and the devil. That's what everything say on the internet. I'm the devil. That's what everything say on the internet. Uh, like, that's what y'all say behind my back. That. Multiple people in this house I told me that you called me the devil some, first. How about I that? How about how about you didn't pick that level of sarcasm? I probably. Said I took what I heard you say about me behind my back and I turned it into a screenplay. I how about that? T. Y'all like T, right? Multiple women, no, multiple girls in this house said, yeah, Cliffs, I was talking about you, Carrie Ann, said, you're the devil, and said this and that, I want to beat Cliffs all up, and I said, don't touch Cliffs all she cool. I'm pretty I took, I took, watch this, watch this, homeboy. I took what I heard, she said, do something, do something, do something, do something, do something, do Is that one of them off-the-wall statements again, or is that really, like, he talked to people in the house more than just y'all two, because it seemed like y'all are a pack. Like, uh-huh. y'all three hang together, and everybody else may be a hey and bye. Yeah, I was thinking it was like some bohemian rent style, you know, have a group up here, and y'all, the other people are downstairs. Right, and, and I thought y'all all. three are like besties, and y'all just say hey and bye to everybody no, else. No, we right. was not besties. There definitely was a social class system in the house. Um, it was evident, uh, but we were me and carry on. Close at one point, yes, but the relate the French the I, I I hate to use the word friend because me and him were not friends. He was a boy that liked me, and I had a heart for him because I knew what the fuck he been through. We opened up to each other, so that's my relationship with him. He was a boy who liked me. And I still had a soft spot for him because I did like him too. Okay. But it just didn't go far because of his antics and his, his, his psycho shit. Okay. Like, what was your question again? I asked you how many people live in the house because he said people in the house mm-hmm. like it was told me you called yeah, okay. me the devil. So, right. so basically it was a it was a social it was a social it was a it was a it was a uh, so just be just be honest and real. Like people probably would have called him the devil, right? Because I mean, yeah, because I can understand gossiping going on. That's what this show is about. Right. We yeah. gossip about so celebrity like gossip, the and I don't give a bitches, fuck, you know. And right. So gossip was, was going around saying that nigga is probably yeah, the devil because uh-huh. he was like this. He was this cute boy who was so mean and he weird. Was really mean. Right, and he could be sweet at times, but then it was like the light switch came on, and he became the devil. Right, so right, it right. It was like, well, who the fuck? Like, what's going on? How, like, it was, uh, it was a taboo for everybody. Okay, okay. Like, how was this boy this cute? But he broke, and he gonna talk shit to you. How right. you? But everybody, people, some of the people in the house is buying you shit, and you talking shit to them. You know, okay. it, it it was like it was it was a lot because he was like, you know, he was the housekeeper. Okay. Um. So it was like he was the main person in the house, but so many people were drawn to him, so many okay. people were attracted to him. Um. That it, it it just it it was like what it was like taboo. It was like what's going on? I'm thinking everything's going cool between me and this guy, and right. then. He snapped. Mm-hmm. This is people telling me their other experiences with him. Because people were throwing themselves at him. Right. Girls and guys. Buying him shit and all that. Right. But I wasn't doing none of that shit. I wow. was not. Um, he liked that. He liked that you was the chill, laid back, quiet right. one. Okay. I laughed so hard when you played Why You So Obsessed With Me. <laughs> Bring up with that. What is so? What is such a friendship about? Why do you keep bringing me up? We don't have a conversation with her. You know, when you talk about him, like it was like, why would you say that? Because all this. Why do you bring this up? I'm justified now. Now y'all justified me instead of taking the opportunity to correct me. Talk to her. Right, and I'm right. And I'm still right. 
He justified. And then you only said sorry you because he wanted me. me to hear you say no, sorry. No, I truly, I truly apologize. I truly care about him living his best life. Him doing this for me is not his best life, okay? It's not. We know that right now. We know that. We know that. It's not his best life. It's just... Why do you keep he wanna talking about me? He want to be laid up in a mansion. Me. He want to be laid up in a mansion just like me and you, okay? Why do you keep talking okay? about Okay, he want a helicopter pad. He want a closet full of Gucci Prada Escada. He want the finest of the finest in life just like everybody else in this house. Why do you keep talking about If this about is his best me? life, I don't believe it. If this is his best life, I don't believe it. I just feel like... I don't Why believe you keep it. talking about me? You know your potential, young man. You're obsessed. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. He wishes I was obsessed with me. You are you're obsessed. Like, you you so obsessed, obsessed with me. I'm not gay. If I was, I'd be cool Bisexual, who knows? Maybe. But full gay, not being a sexual woman, that'll never happen. Ever. Ever in life. That'll never happen. I know that. That's why I'm able to stand in my truth. The moment's over. This is unattractive. Look, that's him. In the great split. Watch me. Why are you so obsessed with me? You know I gotta talk to Mitch about this. Right? And you're not even gonna be involved in the conversation. That was so funny the fact <laughs> that you have a, a song for each. I was like, uh, yeah, a soundtrack for each situation. It's about to die. It's blinking red. Okay. Okay. What recording um, is she talking about? She stopped. Then she said, "Let's redo the scene." What does she mean by that? When, when she stopped it and said, "Let's redo the scene." What does she mean by "Let's redo the scene"? Just tell everybody that I want you to fuck me in the ass. I want you to tell everybody that I want you to fuck me in the ass. Could this be what the other bloggers are looking at as stage? When it comes to the beat, you probably on meth or something. We partied a little bit together, you know. Ain't nobody coming for me. Where did he go after he left he that? He was going in and out of the house to do his Tina so much. He didn't come back in. He left in that, that 1999 Nissan Altima. Tasha K and all these crazy messy bloggers. They was getting crazy. Lovely tea slid in my DM. So I didn't want to, you know, and me and Armand got included because um, I'll give it to Lovely T. She's going to make some noise. And that's when I gave it to her for free. I told him and he got mad. So then that's when he actually blocked me. Have you and Carry On ever had sex with one another? Don't stress, watch, Roy. Nigga.